So because I cannot nickname the Zerua, I don't think it's fair to use. I think I should have to use someone else. So that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go, gym time. That is the gym. Uh, minus the fact that we have to do obviously the, uh, the gym leader. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna use the restroom quick, and then we're taking on gym number five, baby. We're back. Ready for Drift Veil Gym. So here's the thing. He's got a Croc Rock in the lead spot. Croc Rock is fast, but very non-defensive. Um, the nice thing is, is so what I think the general, hi cheese, um, the, the strategy is going to be lead with my Croc. We intimidate each other down, right? At that point, it's going to want to use Bulldoze because that's its most damaging move, or Torment, I suppose. Um, or Sand Tomb. It wouldn't, like, the point is it's not going to use Crunch um, because that would be weird. We switch to Aflac to dodge it. At that point, it wants to use Crunch or Torment, and then we switch back into Crocs to get another Intimidate down. Um, and then we kind of just maybe loop once or twice until we get, and then we switch to Q-Tip get Q-Tip in. Um, we want to switch, ideally, Q-Tip in on a ground move. Yeah, because ground is not good against grass, so we want to switch it in off of a croc switch. Um, so after the second Intimidate, I think then we switch into what's-his-face, because the attack will be halved. And then we switch into Q-Tip, and then Q-Tip's got all of the moves that is going to make this like super useful. It's also got really high defense. Uh, and then it's got Giga Drain, Cotton Spore, Charm, and Leech Seed. So we can Cotton Spore and Charm things down. Um, and then kind of go from there. How's that sound? And it's got Eevee Light, so it's extra, extra bulky. I think that's the play. We save. Um, and then for the other guys, for Sand Slash. Sand Slash, I'm not super worried about. If we can get, like, either the Duck or the, uh, or Cottony in, Sand Slash should be taken care of by by Cotney. Cotney or the duck or Aflac. Excadrill, Cotney is a really good counter for. And so like, I hope Excadrill, the sooner Excadrill comes in the better because the healthier my Q-tip is for that, the better. So that's the play. Clay! Hello, sir. Howdy. As you might say from where you're from. Krakorak! With the Intimidate. Day. So our Crocs gets the Intimidate off. It's Crocs get the Intimidate off. It's going to want to use a Torment or one of its ground moves. To do that, we switch into Aflac, which should dodge it. Nice. It now is only going to use Crunch or Torment. So now we switch back to Crocs. Get a second Intimidate down. Perfect. Torment means I cannot move, use any of the moves that it uses. Is basically it. Cannot use the same, or cannot use, sorry, this is the one where I can't use the same move twice in a row. Um, I think we do that one more time, and then we can switch to Q-Tip. So now its attack should be cut by over half. That's three Intimidate drops. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's now gonna wanna use a ground move again. So we switch to Q-Tip. So now I can't use the same move twice in a row. 
And so now I have to think. I think we leech seed first. Nice avoid. Come on. That's annoying. So it's going to use crunch on me, which makes sense. So I'm going to switch to crocs. That way I'm also not subject to torment anymore. I don't think. I think this lowers my speed, but that should be okay. Because what I can do is I can lower its speed by two. Okay, so now I can't use the same move twice in a row, but that's fine because we led with Cotton Spore. So now its speed is lowered, which is helpful because if I can switch into the bird, the bird will outspeed now. I think I'm gonna Leech Seed because I want to get, oh my God, this thing is dodging everything. Okay, now I have to Giga Drain. Now I have to Giga Drain. <laughs> I super have to Giga Drain. Just dodge the double crit. Okay. Now I hope Sand Slash comes out first. Oh God. <sighs> hmm. Freaking Leech Seed, man. He has a Super Potion. Perfect. Oh, that's actually super perfect, because now Leech Seed should give me some health back. Then I Giga Drain. Nice, let's go, come on. Give me, yes, back to full health, baby. Whew. Oh, that was a little close. Okay, let's see the Sand Slash come in. Okay. Bulldoze, Crush Claw, Roll Out, and Fury Cutter. I can't use the same move twice in a row, I think because of Torment. I think either way, I charm. It outspeeds me? Okay. My defense falls, so I'm gonna switch to that. So now its attack is super lowered. Um, how much is Crush Claw? Bulldoze, Crush Claw. This is... 60, 75. That's the... Hmm, that's like the second defense drop he's gotten on me today. Um, but I definitely need to switch out. Uh, do you, the question is, well, actually, sorry, its attack is lowered. That only did 19 damage. So I can leech seed, I think. I can leech seed, switch to the crocodile. Or do I Cotton Spore and switch to the Crocodile? I think I can take this kind of slow. I think I'm gonna Leech Seed. Oh my god, Leech Seed is not hitting today. Okay, I have to Giga Drain once. I have to gain health back. I don't think this is going to kill because its def special defense is higher than the other guys was. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to uh, Crocs. That's three attack lowers. Nice avoid. Um, what's it gonna want to use? Probably Bulldoze at this point. which I can switch it back into him. Okay, we tanked that pretty good. Uh, 
I think we just have to Giga Drain, because it's going to use Crush Claw, because it outspeeds me, apparently. Actually, it outspeeds me because of the Bulldoze. I... We, no, we lost two viewers. What is happening? I have no idea. But happy Friday to anyone out there. We're battling gym number two. <laughs> Okay, well that was good health regain. Okay. What we have to do, most importantly, on this Excadrill, more important than anything else, is we have to, have to, have to lower its speed. So we Cotton Spore first, always. We lower its attack. Nice. And then we should try and regain some health here. So we are now... Are we even in speed? Because I have one bulldoze, it has two... Hold on, what's his stuff? Because that's technically my second bulldoze because of the other guy. 88. Um... Cotton Spore. I think we have to Cotton Spore. That did not do that. And if I crit, I die anyway. So, like, I have to Cotton Spore. Yep. Come on. Survive. <sighs> that was as close as shit. <laughs> okay. Now we Giga Drain. That did not do as nearly as much as I wanted. Okay, that's one speed drop, so we... I think I have to gain more HP, see what it uses, if it uses Bulldoze, which is this, one of its most damaging moves, probably. Okay, Giga Drain. Because that did... Yeah, so I'm getting... I'm gaining stuff back. 23 to 10. Okay. So we just Giga Drain again. Come on, no crits. So it's doing 22. What does this do? 22. Q-tip! I salute you, sir. You did a good job. Aflac is coming in. Aflac is coming in for the kill. All right, Aflac. Bubble Beam for the kill. Will this kill? Fifty one. Oh, yeah, this was super kill. Water, steel is good. Okay, I'm just checking my bases. I think this kills. Let us. Affleck! Come on, baby! Let's go! <sighs> Gym number five in the books. Had to risk a significant amount of fiction on that one. That's five badges. We get the Quake Badge. We have a death. So this is your fifth badge, huh? If that's so, Pokemon up to level 60 will obey you. Here, take this too. And we get Bulldoze. Q-tip. 
You died for this one. Wait, where is he? Oh, is he bringing me up? What's happening? Oh, he's got a magic elevator. I've got a golden elevator. Good dancers are crucial for putting on good show. Wait, what? Is he about to bring me to the club? Is he about to bring me to the club? All right. We must send off a brother in arms. Q-tip. I had to risk some fiction on you because your health got so low because of a crit that he was using random moves and I couldn't trust it. So I salute you. You lowered his speed enough where I could come in and get the kill with someone else. I appreciate you. We can get one more repel too. Okay, we're gonna go check the hidden grotto quick. Okay, so we go over here, over here, up, up, over. Check. Nothing in here. Okay, we're gonna go south because we gotta go to the Pokemon World thingy. Now that we've beaten the fifth gym badge, she lets us in. And then we just get to see what's in here. We've already gotten the relic one, right? Relic Passage. I feel like we got there already, right? Yeah, because that's the one in the sewers. This is where we got Onyx. Yep, we've already been there. So no encounters there. Oh, we get some items here. This is where we get the Rocky Helmet and stuff. Gift from a worker southeast of the fountain. Okay, where's the fountain? Okay, I guess I got. we gotta do this first. This is the Pokemon World Tournament. Follow me, Tads. Because we're Tadpoles. Okay. I guess I'm leading the way. Oh, it's Charon! Hi, Charon! South of the fountain. Yay, Rocky Helmet! Okay, so now we head up to the next place. So there is an encounter here, but I'm still trying to hunt for that frickin'... I'm still hunting for that, uh... There's a hidden grotto here. And in that hidden grotto, on Route 6... Two, three, four, five, six. There's a Fungus with Regenerator, which I would very much like to get. <laughs> and so I'm going to try and get it. What is the next gym? It's Skyla's the next gym. Level cap 35. So we got some time, you know what I mean? But in the meantime, we go here. We go up. We check the grotto one more time. Come on, let's see a Pokemon in here. Not even an item. Don't I get Surf somewhere? Where do I get Surf? That's all I want to know! Route 6. Okay. Well, there you go. I need to go up. From chair- Oh, I have to go back to the Pokemon World Tournament because there's something that happens. Okay! Back to the Pokemon World Tournament, I suppose. <laughs> there's a part of the story. There is a part to the story. I need to go do that part to the story. Okay, sorry, back to the Pokemon World Tournament. I'm glad you got some Cajun Crust. That sounds delicious. And it, I'm sure, is yummy nummy. <laughs> okay, so do I have to actually go to reception? Sure. Our economy is bad, but Michigan is a beautiful state. I feel like everywhere's economy is kind of is kind of weird right now. Hopefully, hopefully things. I feel like things are on the turn and on the upward thing, but you know, all complicated, and especially in like the state to state, super depends. But yeah, Michigan is super pretty. Lake Michigan, good stuff. I grew up on the other side in Chicago, off of Lake Michigan. Not like 
I didn't grow up there, like right there, but like I am familiar to the lake that bordered each of our states. Okay, which Pokemon do I want to take? Let's see. It's probably... Let's see, weak to water, grass. Water, grass kind of helps. I'm trying to find a good trifecta of these three, I suppose. I don't actually think I actually enter the tournament, and I feel like... I don't actually know what happens in this, so I don't know who to bring. <laughs> Do I actually have to enter this tournament? Does anyone know? I've never played Black 2 before, and I'm not sure if I actually need to enter. He's weak to ground and psychic. I feel like it's these three. So he's weak to ground and psychic. Um, ground is countered by Aflac. Psychic is countered by Croc. Uh, Croc's weaknesses are water, grass, and bug. Water, grass, and bug. This counters grass, this counters water, and bug. And then Athlax are electric. Oh yeah, it's gonna be these three. Enter. Let's do it like that. I I don't I don't think so. I feel like they don't usually do it for this kind of stuff, but it's possible I have like one battle to do or something. Oh god. Oh, what's his face is in here? Uh the Team Plasma guy who's a baddie. I face you first, dog. I feel like we're about to start battling and then what's gonna happen is there's like gonna be like an explosion somewhere. You know what I mean? Cause it doesn't say I face him here. Crocs, oh Croc is also weak to fighting which is also countered by both of the other two so we're Gucci.